Welcome back to the Road to City Hall. Tonight's Sound Off segment takes on an issue of great importance to many New Yorkers. Parking in the city is no easy task, considering the pricey garages, parking meters, and street cleaning rules. But now, there's an effort growing in City Hall to give drivers a break. Last year, the New York Times found nearly 300,000 drivers were ticketed within the first five minutes of a parking rule going into effect. Here to sound off on tonight's planned grace period, Bill is one of the sponsors, and that is Brooklyn Councilman Simka Felder, and the Executive Director of Transportation Alternatives, Paul White. It's so nice to see everyone, Paul Steely White. And so I guess, Councilman, I, I start with you. You want a grace period after meters expire. Explain how this would work. Well, well, let me just clarify that. The grace period would apply to two broad categories. One is people who park alternate side of the street days for street cleaning. And at this point, muni meters, people who pay for muni meters, where we can calculate exactly the moment they're in violation. And the issue here is that the department had an informal policy for a long time not to have their agents act like vultures and wait to ticket people the moment that they're in violation. Like vultures? Yes, some of the agents. And you have it, the proof is 300,000 of those summonses were issued within five minutes. So if you were out the door trying to move your car and you got a call, you had to run to the bathroom for a moment or that, you got tickets. Now, when the department did so informally, no legislation necessary. But since they have not been doing that, they removed that informal policy and they've been ticketing people like vultures, we're going to have to legislate it and make sure that they have a, cultural, a culture of reasonable enforcement and not target taxpayers. Okay, Mr. White, what's your opinion on this? Well, parking agents are not vultures. They're hardworking New Yorkers trying to make a buck like all of us. And I think instituting this five-minute grace period is simply going to delay the argument over whose watch is more accurate. It doesn't really do anything. Second, it's going to make it harder for other drivers to find a space. I mean, five minutes isn't a long time if you have a space, but if you've been circling the block for 30 minutes, five minutes can be a real hassle. And finally, I think this is a bad bill because it's going to increase parking tickets. The parking meter spaces that this bill pertains to is only a tiny fraction of all of the parking meters in the city. And I think most drivers are going to assume that the five-minute grace period applies to all meters, when in fact, it only applies to a small fraction. So yes. it's going to lull drivers into a false yeah, sense of security. It's unfortunate that you don't understand the bill. The bill applies to alternate street side of the parking days where people are driven nuts by being issued summonses. The city has 55,000 parking meters to which your bill does not apply. 55,000. Yeah, I'm not God. And neither are you. We can't solve every problem. Okay, we're now that we have that out of the we're way. We're trying to solve some of them. And we're trying to make, especially during terrible economic times, we're trying to tell New Yorkers we're not out to get you. And I know there are many agents are actually doing their job, but there are clearly some that are issuing summons. There's 300,000 of them within five minutes. And this policy has to be rectified to make sure that people don't feel that somebody's out to get them. And in terms of clocks, that's exactly the point. The informal policy was there to say, look, we don't know whose clock is exactly right. Within five minutes, we're not going to ticket you. Now there's an assumption being made that this clock is right. Right now, the three of us probably have three different times on our clock. So when the driver says it's been five minutes and the ticket agent says, no, it's been seven minutes, what are we going to do? Make it a 10-minute rule? So then a 15-minute rule? You see this is not solving the problem. Okay, but wait. Problem. It's my understanding uh, that, one, if you, I believe your bill applies to when you put the money into the box and they give you the sticker, which has the time on it. That's so, correct. The, the muni meters, we, again, we have two broad uh, categories. One is muni meters because those are the only way we can do this bill at this point. And there, there would be no question that there would be a five-minute grace period that's accurate according to the muni meter. But on the alternate side parking, which many of these tickets are, where let's say it goes into effect 9 to 10.30, that you're not allowed to park on one side of the street, and people get 300,000 summonses were issued between 9 and 9.05, that's unconscionable. Okay, now I'm going to let you respond, but 
you know, you, you've been around for a long time. You know the city quite well. Now, this may not apply to uh, what I'm about to say to your bill, but it doesn't offend you as a New Yorker. I mean, let's be honest. We've all seen parking agents standing there, waiting with the pen and pad, looking at the clock for the moment it clicks to start writing. That doesn't offend you? Well, I think that's a small fraction of cases where tickets are being written at that very moment. What's happening in the majority of cases is that the parking agent is going up and down the street, trying to do their job the best they can, and if they see a car that's in violation or about to be in violation, I think it behooves them to write that ticket instead of looping back in, in 20 minutes or a half hour and then writing the ticket. And the reason why is that turnover, parking turnover, free spaces, it's critical to businesses getting deliveries. It's critical to businesses getting customers. We need to do smarter parking in New York City that encourages that turnover and encourages uh, freedom at the curb. Doesn't Mr. White have a point there? He certainly has a point. It has nothing to do with the bill that I'm proposing. What we're talking about, again, is the issue of alternate side of the street parking that has nothing to do with moving spaces. This is a question Your of bill ticketing to people. Muni meters, correct? It does apply to muni meters as well. And when we talk about businesses hurting in the city, you ask businesses whether they are in favor of giving people a grace period of five minutes. Overwhelmingly, New Yorkers are saying, both businesses and individuals, there are some agents that are waiting to get us. That's not the way. It's not, we're supposed to encourage compliance. It should not be about making money for the city, and that's what it's become. Okay, gentlemen, on that note, what we're going to do is we were watching the video there of an agent uh, walking around uh, doing her job. We're going to take a break. We'll continue this discussion on parking tickets, the debate in just a moment, and later we will have the results of tonight's snap poll. Stay with us.